y'all welcome back to Auntie's Creative Studio. I'm Auntie and today I am using this little three and a half by five inch watercolor book. I brought it off Amazon. Now I'm not happy with it at all. I, I, I'll be up front with y'all because I'm just not. And I've got somebody's phone number in here. Hang on. Before I Holly screwed up. Give somebody's phone number away. When we sell them puppies or whatever, I write on um, whatever I have handy, and sometimes it's one of my books. Okay. I mean, the bat. I did one painting, and that happened. I'm. I mean. Really, people, and I just don't like it. I mean, it just kind of irritated me. <coughs> the paper is okay, I guess. I did that, but for the most part, I mean, this is cheering. I mean, it's, it does have a little pocket in the back. I mean, it's a, it's a cute little notebook. Here's the pocket. I mean, if it was, if, if it would have stayed fixed, and I can probably put more better tape on it. Let's see. We can But. No, I will not recommend this company to you. I will tell you. Let me see. Let me go into my Amazon. And we'll see what we can come up with. Amazon. If I can find. Uh, I know. I just bought it a couple weeks ago. Or a couple months ago. Last month. Month before last. Oh. Let me go slow. Maybe further back than I thought. Okay. It is a Tim Timbridge watercolor journal. It's three and a half by five and a half, a hundred and forty pound. 300 GSM cotton paper cold press 48 pages blah 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 I bought it in April so I've had it a couple months but like I said I'm not I'm not pleased with it I'm I'm making this video to tell y'all that I would not recommend it. Um, I don't know how much it was. It was 12 bucks for this. I spent... I spent... Less than 10 on this one. And this is from Hobby Lobby. It it's it's working great. It is a I won't say it's hot press. I'm not for sure what kind of paper it is, but it that it is I like it better than I do this one. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, but anyways, we're gonna do a little painting. You miss. I can find what I'm looking for. And it's probably right underneath my nose. I'd say probably one of the dogs got it, but I can't even say that right now. Okay, I am bringing my water over. And I've just got one cup today. Uh, 
where I've got two, but one's filthy. And I'm too lazy to get up and go change it, so we're just going to use this one cut. And I am using the Dar um, the Ink uh, Tense paint set. And I'm marking this off because I like the little white bottles and I don't like getting paint on my other sheets. That's just me. You can <clears throat> paint have you want. Uh, like I said, it's just me. I'm just funny that way. And I'm just going to put water on this with a big ground. Now, I say, I mean, it's, easy, it's better to... Use a smaller brush. I am using the number 10 filbert for this. And I'm going in with this blue. And I'm just going in just letting it kind of do its thing. Wet on wet. And uh, I'm going to cover this whole deal with wet on wet um, with the blue now like I said the paper is fine it's just I, I'm, I, I'm just I guess disgusted with how the book held up and I mean, I haven't even traveled with it because, well, just because I just don't like how it looks. And, uh, but the paper, I mean, to me, the paper is good. It's just the book ain't up to my standards. Let me say that. Okay, I am taking the hair dryer. Well, this is not a regular hair dryer, guys. This is to my hair dryer brush. But it won't straight because it heats up quick and it dries. I mean, I use it even like that just to dry my hair whenever. Okay, now I am going in with this pumper, and I guess it's called it's called dark plum. Let's watch. And as you can tell, the only thing I don't like, well, I ain't gonna grab no more. Today. And I'm just going to build me some mountains. I guess I need a piece of water. I mean, a uh, paper towel. I've got paint all over the place. Let me move some of this stuff out of my way. Now I'm going back in and just like at the bottom of this. And I'm just going to spread it out once I get it done. And I'm going to take the excess paint off. And just pull it down. And kind of scrub it, maybe. Because it's drying faster than I wanted it to.
and we may use some uh, other uh, mediums in this. The dogs is a playing. I think they don't play until I, I start talking. <clears throat> I mean, it happens every time. So just bear with me. I'm trying. <laughs> That's all I got to say. I'm trying. Alright. I'm going to hit the hair girl to it again. If you have a... If you have a heat gun, that works great too. Uh, my heat gun bit the dust a few months ago and I ain't replaced it and uh, just ain't done it Ugh. what was I thinking Ooh, that, that's pretty cool not what I'm wanting Nope. Okay. Back to square one. Let's take some of this yellow. as good as green as I'm going to get. And I'm going in and just on my mountains, I am just going to go in and make little dots because, I mean, this is, you know, good ways off and you can't see the actual leaves and I'm just wanting people to think they trees. I mean, Now I'm going in and I'm going to make one just right down the center. I mean right down the center of that mountain. And I'm going in and I, I'm just using my filbert still. And I'm just turning my leaves whichever way I want them to look. Or my limbs, or whatever you want to call it. Then I'm just going in with some darker green and just kind of making shadows and just to make it look more 3D and more realistic. And you can't tell much because the corners is just kind of blending in, I think. And now on this corner I'm gonna make a rock. I mean I'm just in that and I'm just gonna I kinda just did this in rough sketch.
And let's add a little bit of red to this. And let's add just a tad of yellow. And it will probably turn it. Okay, now I am going to use. All I got is my. Hang on, let me find me a small round. Okay, I'm using number six round. And I'm going back in with this green and I'm just gonna make it just a tad dark. And I'm going to just make my I'm starting on my tight and going up with my leaves. Now I'm going to rinse my brush off. Now I'm going in with some yellow. And this is what they call sun yellow. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Maybe not just as much. And I'm going in with some red. Just to add some variety. That's a big one. Dang it. Wasn't planning on that one, but okay, let's add a little bit more yellow to this. Okay, now uh, I'm going to hit, 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 hit it with the uh, eyebrow again. <laughs> and I am going to hit my rock with some green for grass. And I'm using this uh, blue, this color I mixed up that I wasn't too happy with for the tree. But you know what? This may be what I need. And y'all, if you mess up, don't stress about it. It's just paint and water and paper. I mean, and I mean, yeah, your paints cost money. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. And your paper does too. But if you don't practice, you'll never get better. And I can testify to that because I have done it. I mean, I started out, I could not make a tree do look like anything to save my life and all I did was practice 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 I mean I would be sitting in the bed drawing in my sketchbook I mean I take a sketchbook to bed and well, I keep a sketchbook beside my bed and uh, I I mean look at it I mean this is trees I've been working on I mean, it's nearly full of just trees and stuff I've drawn, trying to get the hang of my trees. I still have issues with it, but I am working on it, 
and I'm still practicing and like I said it's just paint on paint and if you screw <coughs> to use your good supplies buy cheap stuff and practice with it and then when you think you've got it mastered go to your good professional step grade stuff I mean I'm not saying I do everything like I should and I'm going to use some I am using a prism corner white on this and I've got just a paper, a pencil extender on this. And I'm going to just go in. Since this is dry. And make some clouds in the sky. Okay. And just maybe some quick waves down here. Should have done that before I did all the grass. But that's all I'm going to do to this. I'm going to yank this tape off. And I use washi tape a lot because I got so much of it and I don't use it for nothing else and it's running and I'm thinking mm, it will work. See, I, I mean that don't bother me because I know it just leaked. <clears throat> and this is just a, a, as a, what I call a practice run. I'm going to sign my name with an ink pen. And um, I had a lady get on to me for not signing my last name. And uh, what is the date? The eight, 19th. I'm filming this on the 19th. Of Jean. So, but like I said, I I like the paper that's in the book. I just don't I don't like how it, the binding system is because it broke. I mean, way too soon. Um, I've had it a few months and I've just stuck it in my kept my bookshelf or cubes or whatever you want to call it. And just kind of left it at that after it broke. Um, see, I mean, it's not even folding right now. And it has the uh, elastic band on it. Um, you know, it, it gets uh, all kinds of tension. <laughs> but, anyways. That's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to us. And have a blessed day. Bye.